So hello there and welcome to this week's Learn Quick. So we are going to be taking a look at the different video connectors you may find on your graphics card or on your monitor and what the maximum specifications for them are. So we're going to take a look at these from oldest to newest. Now I will show obviously all the different connectors for these as we go through just to make sure you know which connector I'm referring to. So you have VGA, so this is an analog connection standard so you can get issues with interference and it degrades over distance. And So the maximum resolution of this connector is 2048 by 1536 and this is at 85 Hertz. So this is a reasonable resolution as most of you will most likely be 1080p or 1440p gamers and will not likely need this resolution. However for content creators and the like this is often not enough and this standard is old now and so is being phased out. So the connectors obviously look like this you probably recognize them from some older laptops. And then you have DVI. Now DVI is newer and comes in two variants. And these variants can also come in three other variants. So you have DVI single link and DVI dual link. So these two have different resolu maximum resolutions with single link being able to do two 2560 by 1600 at 30 hertz, while dual link can do 3840 by 2400 at 30 hertz. Now, the DVI standard is slightly strange as it is a digital and analog standard. So it comes in DVI A, DVI D, and DVI I. So DVI A is DVI analog. So this is again an analog signal and DVI-D is the digital signal with DVI-I showing that it carries both the digital and the analog signals. HDMI is obviously a newer standard and can do up to 10K at 120Hz. It is a digital standard which makes it quite useful as interference is not as much of an issue with things such as crosstalk not being big problems. And then you have DisplayPort which is a slightly odd looking connector and can do 8K at 60Hz. I hope you have enjoyed this video and please feel free to like, favourite, share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can help continue helping you learn things.